It is without a doubt that air travel is one of the safest ways to travel today. With strict regulations and maintenance of these aircrafts, along with years of research and development, passengers can have a peace of mind that they will reach their destination without fear of plummeting to the earth. Safety is the biggest priority for engineers when they're designing an aircraft, which led to aircraft wings being angled upward or downward slightly to improve safety. In this video, we're going to get a deeper understanding as to why angled wings make an aircraft safer. I'm dropping, I'm dropping. Engineers are always researching new ways to improve the efficiency of aircraft and wing design is a big part of that challenge. Not all wings are the same though. They come in many shapes and sizes and that largely depends on the intended use of the aircraft. For most jetliner, the low mounted dihedral wing design is used. A dihedral wing design is simply the angle the wing makes with a perfectly horizontal line through the base of the wing. To understand the purpose of this design, we must first understand the forces acting on the wing in flight. Let's examine an aircraft with a low mounted dihedral wing design where the wing makes an angle with the horizontal line. In straight and level flight, the lifting force of the wing does not point straight up due to the angle of the wing. Instead, the lifting force is perpendicular to the wing and therefore will point inward slightly. This might seem counterintuitive as only the vertical component of the lifting force keeps the aircraft in the air. So you may wonder why would engineers implement such a design that seems inefficient? After all, the horizontal component is simply wasted energy and it causes the aircraft to burn more fuel. The biggest advantage of this design is that it gives the aircraft roll stability. Let's examine this aircraft as it bangs to one side. As the aircraft rolls, side slip occurs, which is the tendency of the aircraft to move sideways and downwards in the direction of the turn. This creates a new airflow over the wing and as a result of the dihedral wing, this airflow strikes the lower wing with a greater angle of attack than the higher wing. The angle of attack is the angle at which the airflow makes with respect to the cord of the wing. The greater the angle of attack, the greater the lift and therefore the lower wing generates a larger lifting force than the upper wing, thus bringing the aircraft back to level flight. This means that the aircraft in a turn will naturally return to level flight with no input from the pilots, an important safety feature for airplanes. Let's take a look at the Boeing C-17, which has a high mounted anhedral wing design. This means that the wing of this aircraft is angled downwards from the horizontal line. And since the lifting force acts perpendicular to the wing, this means that the lifting force will be pointed slightly outward. As the C-17 makes a turn in this case, the lower wing will have a smaller angle of attack than the higher wing and thus the lifting force of the higher wing will be greater than that of the lower wing. This would cause the C-17 to further turn in that direction and possibly cause it to spin out of control. But this doesn't happen. Why? It was found that the lower wing develops a high pressure region under the wing and the higher wing had a lower pressure region under its wing. The high pressure region under the lower wing causes that wing to generate a greater lifting force than the higher wing, thus causing the aircraft to return to level flight without any inputs from the pilot. From these two cases, we can see how dihedral and anhedral wing design affect the flying characteristics of the aircraft, in this case, making the aircraft more stable in flight. In some cases though, this design is not wanted. For example, fighter jets are actually designed to be unstable in flight, meaning that any input from the pilot would cause a great change in rotation and or pitch. This is needed because fighter jets need to be able to change directions quickly to evade and or pursue enemy aircraft. Because of this instability, however, it would be almost impossible for the pilots to control the fighter jets without crashing. 
So computers are implemented to make tiny adjustments for the pilot so that they can control the aircraft. Designing an aircraft is no easy task. This is just one of the many things that engineers have to consider. Thus, it can take several years to develop an aircraft from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope when you see an aircraft now, you have a bit more appreciation for the carefully thought out design to ensure passenger safety. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for the latest. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.